In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install packages using Anaconda. And so the only requirement for this tutorial is to have Anaconda installed. So uh, just visit this page here and then download the appropriate package. I'll leave this link in the description box. Now for Linux users, I have a separate tutorial that show you how to install and then set up Anaconda. So you can just watch that. The link to that video is also in the description box. Now, once you are done, you have to move to your terminal. And so this is where we are going to do um, the stuffs, I mean, the installation activity. Now, before you install packages, it's important to add channels. You have to add channels. So channels um, will serve as uh, repositories or locations where Conda will search uh, for, for information, will search for the packages, download, and then set um, them up for you. So let's add the channels for this tutorial we are going to use three channels i repeat we are going to use three channels for this exercise so we will use conda forge bioconda and then r so let's see how we are going to add them so to add a channel we say conda config add channels so let's add the first one here conda forge Let's add a second channel, which is R. Let's add a third channel, which is Bioconda. Okay, so we have them done. You can also list the channels that you have added on your PC. So you can see Conda, Config, Show, channels so this will list them so notice the three channels we added the default one comes packaged with conda so we will leave it as it is so let's proceed so now we are ready to start the installation let's clear the screen first now for this exercise i'm going to give you three ways of installing packages so let's look at the first method in the first method you create an environment and you install the packages later and so that is what we are going to do now. So to create an environment, we say conda creates dash n. And then you give the environment name. So let's say my env. And then you execute the command. So you'll be asked to confirm. And then you type y. And then conda will create the environment for you. So now we have it created and that is why you have this notification here. Now let's proceed. So let's say you have forgotten the name of the environment. You can list the environments that you have created on your PC. So let's say conda env list. This will list all the environment for you. And then you can search for the one that you want to activate. So notice that my env here, that is what we created. Now, with this method, we create the environment first and we install the packages. So let's look at how we are going to install the packages in that environment. And so to install a package in that environment, you have to first activate the environment. There's another approach without activation. I will show that later. So let's activate the environment. So to activate an environment, you say conda activates. So let's say my env. And you have it this way now let's proceed so once you have it this way you can install the packages you want so let's say we want to install python you can see conda install python and then we run it so run this command and then conda will download the packages for you so you need to first confirm by typing y and then all these dependencies and packages will also be downloaded and installed. So let's do this. So let's type Y and then let's see how it goes. So notice that packages have been downloaded and extracted for us to use. So let's wait and see how it goes. Okay, so the package has been installed for us. And so let's proceed. So once you have the package installed, in this case, Python, 
and you have already activated the environment, we just need to call Python and then it will be done for us. So that's how we do it. Now let's quit Python. Okay, so let's proceed. So what we did was we installed just one package, but with this approach, you can also install multiple packages on the same line, on the same command line. So let's see, um, we let, let's just install another package. So let's say, conda install, let's say numpy, let's say pandas. And then you can also install R. Remember we added a channel for R. So we can also say conda install R. Let's say R base. So let's install this as well. So these are things you can do. So let's try and then install these packages also. So run this command. Okay, so we have the packages installed for us. So let's clear the screen. And so you can just, because it's Python, we can just run our Python and then import NumPy because it was one of them. So it's done nicely for us. So let's quit Python. We also installed R, and so you can run R. So let's do this. Okay, so R has also been installed for us nicely. So it's a good thing. So here you can also just type your R commands. Let's type an example here. Perfect. So it's also done for us nicely. Now let's quit R and then proceed. Okay. So, and this is how we do it uh, with method one, where we, 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 create the environment and also activate and install the packages. But with the same method one, you don't necessarily have to activate the environment before installing. You can actually install it whilst the environment is still deactivated. But before we do that, when you are in the environment, when you are, you've activated the environment, you can also list the packages you have available in that environment. So you can say conda lists, and this will list all the packages you have in that environment. So let's deactivate this environment and look at another way to install where we make reference to the environment we've created. So let's deactivate and then we can do it. So to install a package here, whilst the environment has been deactivated, we can say conda install and you say dash n, my env like this. And then once you have it like this, you can also install uh, the package. So let's add one more package here. Let's use a Python package. So let's just say, let's add one more. So let's just say BioPython, which is a Python package. So do it this way and then install. So Conda will still install in this same environment here, even though it's deactivated, installation can still be done there. So confirm by typing Y and then BioPython will be downloaded and installed for you. Okay, so that is also done. So let's go here. So activate the environment again and then type Python and let's test this BioPython package. So I'll say from Bio import seek io is just a command to import so that is also done nicely for us so everything is perfect now so let's quit python okay so this is how i bring method one to an end and so let's deactivate this environment and then let's clear the screen and then let's move on to method two. So in method two, we create an environment and we install the packages simultaneously. So there's like a one line command that we use. It's it's much simpler and I recommend this one um, for your installation activities. So to do that, we say conda creates dash n. So let's just say, 
my m2 let's use a different name and so once you have it like this you then specify the packages you want to install so let's say python numpy let's add another one so let's just say pandas and let's say r base again okay so we have these there so once you have it this way we just run this command okay so the packages have been installed so let's play the screen so now let's activate this environment so we can see conda activates and then we give the environment name which is my m2 and so once you have it activated you can still call your r and then just enter your command or quit you can also call your python and you have it nicely done for you so this is how we do it for method 2 let's quit and so you can see that method 2 is straightforward and it's comparatively faster and quick so i recommend that you use method 2 uh, for most of your installation activities so let's deactivate conda deactivate uh, okay i think it's yeah so that's how it is uh, this one was more like a function which is not so so that's how we deactivate so let's deactivate yes so perfect so now we are done so let's clear the screen and move to method thread so let's look at the third method in the third method we install packages from an environment file the environment file is a text file that contains information that conda will use to download and install the packages and this is how a typical environment file looks like we have the name of the environment we have the channels and we have dependencies dependencies are the packages that you want to install here is another environment file that i created it's on one of my github repos and this was used for installing bioinformatics packages i will leave the link to this page in the description box in case you are interested i will also try and see whether i can get some other examples i'll put the links there i think you should find some there as well so you can also check this page here this is the conda the documentation for uh, package installation so just try and see i think you should have some examples here as well i'll leave the link to this page also in the description box so let's proceed so let's get back to the environment file it's very easy and very simple to create and i'll advise you also create one yourself just to and get a hang of it so just follow my lead i will quickly create one here so open a new text editor and then just um, create one so to create the file we populate with entries so that's how we do it so we type name and we give a colon and then we give the name of the environment we want created so colon and then space a space character we type the name you give a colon and then you type space a space character I repeat and then you give the name of the environment so let's say analytics then you move to the next line type channels give a colon and then here you specify the channels you want but this one should be in separate lines so you move to the next line here space character a dash and then space again and then you give the channel so let's say conda forge you do same for all the channels you want and then you move to the next line again so the next line here is for the dependencies so type dependencies colon and then move to the next line space dash character and then the name of the package so you do same for all the packages you want so let's say numpy let's do for r base 
you can also add R packages. Let's say R Dev Tools. So any of them should work fine for you. So this is how we create an environment file. Now you found a terminal. You can also just come here, use a text editor on the terminal, and also create the file. So here I will say nano environment dot yaml. Okay, I can you can use any extension, it's fine. So just try any extension. So just type this and then I'll just paste what I I created here as well. So this one is useful if you are working on a terminal. So let's just save it and then let's proceed. So the file is there. So once you are done, you just need to fill this file to Conda. So to install the packages using this file, we say Conda env and then you type create and you say dash f and then you specify the file name which is environment.yml and then you hit the enter button to start the process. So Conda will look at the file and then get the information it needs and then use that to install the packages for you. So let's wait and see how it goes. Okay, so packages have been installed successfully. So let's check it out. So you can just check the list of environments. You can see Conda env list just to confirm. And so you will see that we have the environment here. So just activate it. And once you have activated it, you can just type your R again and then just enter your commands or quit. You can also type Python to enter into the Python interface. Just type your commands. And then you have it done nicely for you. So that's it. And once you are done, you can deactivate the environment. Okay, great. So that's how it is. So I am happy that you were able to follow this tutorial. So now you have three approaches or three ways you can use to install packages in, in Conda. So uh, that'll be all for this tutorial. And I'll also leave some useful links for you to learn more about Conda. And you can also check this playlist out, which um, has video tutorials on how to um, use Conda for installing packages. So that'll be all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.